This page was created to teach black history. Unfortunately, the American educational system was designed to exclude our real historical account, so we are here to dismantle it. It's time to enlighten those of us who have been kept in the dark. I, too, was a black man who didn't know enough about our own history, so I began to dig deeper and do my own research. I want people of all races and cultures to join together to learn our history as one. Here, I will share all of my findings. Please share and support Teaching Black History. The Story of Henry Box Brown Henry Box Brown was born into slavery in 1816 on a plantation in Louisa County, Virginia. He is believed to have had at least two siblings, a brother and a sister. Brown was first married to a fellow slave named Nancy, but their marriage was not recognized legally. They had three children born into slavery. With the help of James Smith, a free black man, and a sympathetic white shoemaker named Samuel Smith, Brown devised a plan to have himself shipped in a box to a free state by the Adams Express Company, known for its confidentiality and efficiency. Brown paid $86 to Samuel Smith. To get out of work the day he was to escape, Brown burned his hand to the bone with acid. The box in which Brown was shipped was three by two feet and displayed the words dry goods on it. It was lined with a coarse woolen cloth and it carried only a small portion of water and a few biscuits. There was a single hole for air and it was nailed and tied with straps. Brown later wrote that his uncertain method of travel was worth the risk. If you have never been deprived of your liberty, as I was, you cannot realize the power of that hope of freedom, which was to me indeed an anchor to the soul both sure and steadfast. During the trip which began on March 29, 1849, Brown's box was transported by wagon, railroad, steamboat, wagon again, railroad, ferry, railroad, and finally, delivery wagon being completed in 27 hours. Despite the instructions on the box of handle with care and this side up, several times carriers placed the box upside down or handled it roughly. Brown remained still and avoided detection. The year he escaped, Brown was contacted by his wife's new owner, who offered to sell his family to him, but the newly free man declined. This was an embarrassment within the abolitionist community, which tried to keep the information private. Brown was known for speaking out against slavery and expressing his feeling about the state of America. While in England, Brown married Jane Floyd, a white Cornish tin worker's daughter in 1855 and began a new family. In 1875, he returned with his family to the U.S. with a group magic act. A later report documented the Brown family Jubilee Singers. Henry Box Brown died in Toronto on June 15, 1897.